All right, now let's talk about these other options in the render menu here. All these things down here, lighting, shadows, reflections, depth of field, motion blur, field rendering, frame lighting. These are all functions that you can use in the program. The first four here are 3D related, and the second three are related to other specific features. And they're all basically things that take a lot of time to render. They're all things that when, when you have them turned on, they slow down the interactivity and the rendering speed of the program. That's why they're grouped with these other resolution and quality aspects. And so all these things are global settings that enable you to turn on and off these various settings. And you know by turning them off, they're going to disable them, but that's going to speed up your temporary your workflow while you're, while you're moving things around. So I'm just going to, let's just add a camera here and uh, switch to 3D, sure. And let's just rotate. Yeah, I've already got a little, a little depth there set up. We'll add a light. And move the light back. And we're going to turn on shadows for the light. And there the letters are being sh cast shadow onto the background there. We can bring up the intensity there if we want to see a little bit more clearly. And, of course, the relative position of the light is going to affect where the shadow is and all that. Uh, but what we were basically going to do right now, if I go to the render menu and I disable shadows, you see the shadows go away. If I turn shadows back on and I disable lighting, lighting goes away, but you see the shadows remain. And that's a really powerful little tool because, in fact, if you know the general look of what the lighting is going to do, but you need to see where the shadows are going to be, you can turn on and off these things independently. So even though shadows only exist because of lights, I can turn on and off the lighting, which is essentially really the shading. That's really what that is. Um, and that, you know, controls that and then the shadow and then reflection. So let's just go ahead and turn on. I select that background object there. I'm going to turn on reflections. You go to the properties tab. There's lighting, shadows and reflections. I turn on reflections. Then you see a little reflection and let's disable shadows. So we'll say you're not going to receive shadows, but we are going to get the reflection. Right. So there's the reflection of the Mac Pro video letters. And as I move those around, they're going to, of course, you know, affect where that reflection is. And remember the way reflections work, it depends on where the camera is. So if the camera is in a position where it can see them, you'll see the reflections and so forth. Anyway, you can disable or enable those reflections globally by turning them off over here. So the render menu controls the global setting for all objects. And then when, you know, once it's turned on, you can select individual objects using these parameters. And this is all covered in the 3D module. If you haven't watched that one yet, you can go back and learn all about lighting and shadows and reflection and all that good stuff. All of these things are set on a project or on, on an item by item, item basis. But this setting up here allows you to globally turn them on and off to speed up your, your interactivity. And then finally, depth of field. If we enable depth of field, notice it was off by default. That's because that's one of the slowest ones of all uh, because it has to create blurring effects. And depending on where our camera is, if I, let's just go ahead and select our camera here. And if we change the camera's angle of view here, well, you know, the further we go, you see that now the letters are out of focus because I've created a, such a shallow angle of view, right? If, uh, well, here, if I turn off depth of field, you won't see that effect. So you now see the letters are sharp no matter where they are. doesn't matter whether they're close or far. Everything is nice and sharp. Turn depth of field back on, and you'll see there's the blur effect that's being happened because the camera is, is you know, because the letters are out of the camera's angle of uh, or depth of field. It's out of the range of its field. And so these settings up here in the render menu, are, again, they're, they're designed to speed up your workflow, turn them on and off as you need to. Motion blur, field rendering, and frame blending, these are, again, similar things. Frame blending has to do with speed effects. If you're applying slow motion effects and you've got uh, optical flow or one of the other frame blending techniques, you can disable that so that it will just show re repeated frames. And you know, that would be something that you were seeing on a video clip or something that had a temporal element to it. You could turn that on and off. Field rendering, this is something that is off by default. And this is basically showing you both fields and, again, something you'd see in video. If you had video that was not progressive and you were looking at both fields at once, if you turn that on, you'd see field rendering. You'd see both fields simultaneously. And, and similarly, motion blur when that's enabled. And if you have objects that are moving very quickly, the blur that creates by that is created by that movement will be displayed or not displayed based on the settings here in these in the pop-up.
And again, all these settings here are available also in the menu, in the view menu. Here they are, render options, lighting, shadows, reflection, step the field, motion blur, field, field rendering, flame blending. And notice they all have shortcuts. Uh, and I'm not going to bother going through all these now. You can always come back here to the menu to see them. But there are all these shortcuts if you want to turn these on and off quickly. These are always turning them on and off globally for the whole project. Important in concept to make sure you understand that because it's going to have an impact when we talk about actually outputting our movie in a few minutes.